This is your Weather Extreme video for Thursday, June the 23rd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. And before we start with the weather discussion, I thought I would post uh, this beautiful picture of the sunrise in Pelham, posted on Twitter by Michael Ray. I uh, hope it's okay to use that, Michael, but a great shot of the sun coming up this morning. Our surface map features high pressure. Yes, have we heard that before? Of course we have, most of this week. And it's going to continue with us into the weekend, too. But we do have a storm system moving through the southern portion of the Great Lakes and the Ohio, the eastern portion of the Ohio River Valley. And that responsible for some severe weather yesterday and will be responsible for some severe weather today. In the upper atmosphere, the uh, 500 millibar chart features this uh, rather large ridge that is bulging westward been producing a great deal of heat over the western states, the southwestern states, and that's going to be producing some heat over the eastern part of the country over the next uh, several days into the weekend. Temperatures this morning starting out around the 70 degree mark once again. Uh, again, Birmingham a little bit warmer at 77, that uh, heat island occurring. On the watch warning map, we have a few less uh, advisories going on. We do see that orange area, which is a heat advisory in parts of northern Arkansas, uh, western Tennessee and parts of uh, eastern Kentucky and southern Missouri. In addition to that, over uh, in the uh, eastern part of the Ohio River Valley, we have some flash flood watches, and there's still a severe thunderstorm uh, watch that's in effect over there. A few heat advisories or excessive heat uh, warnings in the, the western United States. QPF-wise, it does look like we're going to see some rain. Probably the better chance is coming Maybe Sunday, but definitely Monday and into Tuesday. It looks like our better chances for rain. And uh, it will be of the showery nature, so not everybody's going to get wet. Storm Prediction Center yesterday had a moderate risk. And um, yeah, I don't know what your values are, but it looks like they hit the area pretty well. Had a number of tornadoes uh, on the order of, uh, I think it was 18 tornado reports and uh, 111 wind reports. So a good number of wind reports yesterday. The uh, enhanced risk is today over parts of West Virginia, Ohio, uh, Indiana, and uh, Kentucky, as well as just a little bit of uh, Virginia. For day uh, two, which would be Friday, uh, we have a slight risk in South Carolina, North Carolina, along the coastal area, as well as centered on North Dakota. And then for day three, we have a slight risk uh, in parts of Wisconsin and Minnesota. And the tropics, they remain quiet. Yes, we are noting some uh, clouds over the Western Caribbean and the Yucatan Peninsula, but there's no signs of any development there. All right, let's take a look at the 06 GFS model run. And uh, there's the 594 height contour coming across uh, uh, all the way across the U.S., almost extending from coast to coast, not quite, but very close. And uh, that keeps us pretty much uh, dry. I think the GFS has kind of overdone it this morning uh, with uh, the showers over northern Alabama. Uh, I don't think we're going to see quite that many. Maybe a few isolated showers uh, in the Tennessee River and up into Tennessee, but I don't think down this way. Friday, the heat ridge is in a in a place and it is beginning to bulge northward and will be moving into the great lakes uh, over the weekend and uh, once again that is keeping us pretty much into the maybe an isolated shower possible on friday but once again most of those showers to our north that 594 ridge uh, bulges up into the great lakes on saturday and we're under it, so Saturday is going to be one of our hotter days. We'll see some isolated showers as that uh, basically an older cold front sags down into the area. And so we may see a little bit more than just isolated, but still it's going to be showery in nature. And Saturday and again on Sunday, we're expecting the heat indices to approach 105. Uh, so it could be uh, a heat advisory may be required. Sunday, the ridge still in place, but finally we're beginning to note the possibility of some changes with that big close low coming across southern Canada and uh, with uh, the surface map featuring a front coming across the Great Lakes and across the uh, central U.S. Looks like we hold out some hope for Monday, and indeed on Monday we begin to see that Closed low moving across southern Canada and at beating back that 594 height contour and moving it back towards the western states. And uh, that will be dragging the front down into our area. So once again, it does look like Monday is probably going to be the better day for us to see some fairly numerous showers and thunderstorms. 
The trough begins to take hold well on Tuesday, and that puts us in a northwesterly flow pattern. And while we don't see much to worry about on Tuesday's surface map, by the time we get out to Wednesday, that surface flow is well, uh, that uh, upper flow, northwesterly flow, is well in place. And the GFS is showing a couple of uh, weak disturbances in that flow, and those could result in. Uh, large clusters of thunderstorms, mesoscale convective systems, or MCSs, and those things can be really bust the forecast badly because they develop way up there northwest of us in the central plains, but they can travel for hundreds of miles and may actually affect parts of the southeastern U.S. So the GFS hinting at that with no skill this far out to be specific on that. By the time we get out to Thursday, a week from today, the trough still in place and, uh, and the possibility that we'll see some of these clusters once again with a little weak uh, short wave moving through that overall troughiness. As we move out into voodoo country, uh, we get out to uh, 276 hours, Monday the 4th of July, and the GFS maintaining the troughiness over the eastern half of the country. So that means from uh, the end of June into the 1st of July, it looks like we should stay away from any extreme heat. But by the time, and notice what you see down there in the southern Gulf of Mexico just off the Yucatan. Yeah, it's the beginnings of something. And indeed, the GFS is suggesting that we might have, between the 4th and the 6th, a tropical weather system moving across the Gulf of Mexico, taking aim at Louisiana. And indeed, the surface pattern shows that too with a fairly uh, stout surface low. So we'll be watching that. Will that feature be there on the run tomorrow? Eh, it's hard to say. It might, it might not, but we'll, we'll be watching. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters with the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Friday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. Have a great day and Godspeed.